Cause sometimes life just gets real crazy And it seems like we all get a little jaded So maybe it's time to pack a bag Howdy y'all and welcome to My Misadventure Here we're back in again, another episode This time, Roy's Ventor, how do you do? <laughs> how was that? Was that a good accent? I feel like that was pretty good. Corn dog and beer. Corn, corn dog and beer. Or get off my porch. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, so I'm here today with Roy. You guys probably recognize the inside of this van. <laughs> We've been adventuring in this van before. It actually had a build in it. Um, oh, yeah. Just to see. There was one time it, we had the awning. A nice mat in for outside of the van, but like nothing inside except for the nothing. bed. There was uh, my only my electricity system. Yeah. That we put like a crash pad leaning on the electrical <laughs> and a bed. Perfect. <laughs> but it worked. But today we're gonna do like an actual official tour of his van. Yay! This is buggy. <laughs> um, but before we get started on that, do you want to just talk a little bit about like why you chose to do van life? So basically, I moved to Boulder from Israel like three years ago and when I first got into town I met uh, this climber dude that was also living in the van. The whole idea started like kind of he taught me about it and told me a lot about it and I'm like I feel like I'm kind of I haven't really seen much of America and I'm thinking about going back to Israel um, soon and I'm just uh, basically I want to have uh, an option to go and travel all of America and see whatever I haven't seen yet. Yeah. Awesome. We, I bought it completely empty, second hand from Craigslist, uh, and I just spent like almost like about more than half a year um, insulating the whole van, mm -hmm. cutting windows, van, sunroof, um, doing the electrical, um, and then the whole woodwork of the carpentry. I had uh, I got a lot of help from. Uh, very nice shop with very talented people that you know. We'll be visiting them probably, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. If they'll let me film them, they're kind of against the whole thing. Cool, so basically the floor is obviously also insulated. I use specifically a vinyl on the floor. It was very important for me because I know how clumsy I am and I know I like I spill all the time like stuff in the van and like my water bottle like leaks and stuff and I just wanted it to be like pretty protective and not really mess with the wood because that can go under and like rot on it and stuff and I didn't want to deal with that at all. And I'm actually really happy with the, with how it looks and how it mm -hmm. performs. All the wood and everything I use the uh, natural uh, wood and I think it was apple, no, maple, <laughs> it's all maple. Um, and I really wanted to go in the natural design and then like the natural scars of the wood i really like that stuff and but yeah basically this is the bench under the bench there's all the electricity electrical uh, compulses the battery sits right here and then i have a little charge control and so the fridge is connected uh, to a 12 uh, volt and which uh, that's the heater the charge control and um, for the solar panel and that's a, an inverter plug and this is the fridge which I really like it's small it's kind of like a cooler type and I love this fridge we went with it uh, for a few trips with like multiple people two people and it's way more than enough I don't know if you can see but you can try to shove your camera <laughs> under <laughs> the electricity system is there so it is accessible but yeah <laughs> but you don't want it to like it doesn't really make sense to have it like really accessible all the time because you don't really use it and then I just have some uh, more storage here and got uh, this beautiful window that I had a lot of help uh, from the shop to install and Maya made this beautiful curtain <laughs> thank you Maya and all over the van it's very important to for me to even 
if the van is not very organized just to have a feeling of like organization so like under my bed is like mess <laughs> but it's nice just to shove everything put the curtain in and like and have the space to relax have it like nice and clean and and I didn't have any time to deal with doors and it's just extra material so I really like that and basically that I don't have a table um, the design is right now was that you could ha sit down and use this as a as a cutting table and someone can cook or just like I can eat from here or from by myself and it was important for me to have like a pretty big trash and I didn't want to empty it every time so this is my trash bag it's a little too big but you use all storage that you can <laughs> every inch so this is where my shoes are <laughs> all stuck perfect and yeah and then like silverware and stuff and my help me think about like again like it's just using every every space that you have and I really enjoy that and got my closet which was really important for me also so I can hang things and Hi. and that's <laughs> A little organize or organize organizer. <laughs> it's a pretty interesting. When we designed the the ceiling with the lights, we basically I bought six, and my friend destroyed one of the LEDs. So we were like, let's do like a cube, like four and one in the middle. And when we built the closet, we didn't realize, but it covered one of the light. But it turned out to be perfect because it like lights the closet yeah. so that's really cool <laughs> and, and i got two big big long uh, clothes drawers and diesel heater comes right from here basically and it sits right under there um and the, the heater just comes out of there and yeah and i have uh, all this basically dishes stuff right here so it is accessible, but kind of in the back because you don't need it all the time. Um, and then my kitchen. So my kitchen is a uh, basically a gas stove top, and that every time that I use it, I have the grill under the stove. I just pull it out and and establish it. I really like this this way to do it because it catches a lot of the grease and this like natural like the product itself way it lays out so I don't need to really worry about grease much and and it's like every time I use it it's just like it folds pretty easily and then it becomes again like like, uh, like a countertop and, Here, and wait will you lift it back up yeah okay so where does this connect what kind of uh, fuel do you use so I use a regular propane tank and which it's right here it's a little messy. So it's a one gallon propane back there? I think it's like, like five. Oh, that's a... Hmm. Yeah, one that's gallon is five. the green. Oh, you're right. <laughs> no, sorry, that's a one liter. No, that's one pound. pound. <laughs> <laughs> we did this last time. This is this is 13 LBC. Yeah, 13. 13 pounds? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it, was it hold me honestly like... A lot. I probably need to refill it and check, might make sure before my next adventure. But um, yeah. it holds for a long time. Um, and a latch is important because you're not always parked on a straight, like flashed uh, place. Um, got all my spices. I like them. Your kitchen is very cute. Yeah, it's kind of nice. It feels a little more homey, kind mm -hmm. of like just like I really like to like cook and stuff. And then I got the sink, which. Uh, it's just a round sink that uh, my buddy gave me and um, with the pipe that uh, Maya recommended for me, which works great. It kind of does sometimes funny noises, but it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and I basically, I wanted it a little higher, so I just took a cube. I made a hole through the cube and uh, basically it's just a connector and sitting, so it's a little higher. And, and then for that, I basically took a pipe and I made a piece strap so to the gray water so the smells from the gray water will c won't come out to the sink and so I basically just shaped the pipe in a piece 
strap kind of way and connected with zip tie. Pretty simple. So I have two six liters of clean water and then one six liter of gray water. And and they just come directly from uh, from gallons. there. And yeah, sorry, six gallons. <laughs> Goddamn metric system. <laughs> and <laughs> Yeah, so six gallons, um, which I really like because I have backup. A lot of time you forget how much water you have and then like, oh shit, I'm out of water. Nice, I have another six gallons. Absolutely. So basically, I don't know if you can see the peach trap coming down from the pipe. This white line is uh, for the gray water. Comes here. What's left Only in, the in designated places to <laughs> dump gray water. Do not dump your gray water wherever you want. And then basically this is how I have my water system. I kind of want to just put uh, one thing about it because I'm really excited about this idea. And I have a lot of friends that have the pipe and it kind of curves. And you can get the water from the under and from the beneath of the gallon. So basically I took a net just to um, block uh, bigger things uh, that can come into the pipe. And I put uh, around it a... Uh, a few uh, stainless steel washers so um, they won't rust or something like that and they function as weights and basically I can get all the water from under the in the water jugs so basically I mentioned um, the, the natural wood um, kind of touch which again I absolutely love like all the natural knots um, and even like here I think it adds so much beauty into the van and like Basically, I wanted to feel like uh, I'm in a cabin, kind of. But the disadvantage of it, um, I did treat it all with bee wax. Um, but the disadvantage is uh, that it leaves marks and um, black marks. Like there's marks right here, just from things that like grabbing. I put this basket temporarily, basically, and that made like a love black mark in here. You can. Probably you can pretty much sand it down and retreat it uh, eventually, but even like here, I, because I went on the white wood, and which I thought is really pretty, it just it gets really dirty and it's pretty hard to clean. But um, yeah, I mean, you camping and you live in a tiny place, and that's just how it's gonna be. So if I have a little recommendation, like just know what you're getting into. If you don't like that kind of stuff paint your wood if you don't really care and you want it to be natural then that's what you ask have it natural even if it's some marks and dirty and every now and then you can clean it <laughs> all right so this is the back um, basically I am really like I learned so much during this process and but I'm not a carpenter and I can work a little bit with my hands but I am really not a carpenter, so I try to do a lot of things kind of by myself. Cover this whole thing, I just use a pine wood that kind of connects to itself. And again, like, and it's basically just connected and it's really nice. I really like how it ended up being. And I have a lot of, I had a lot of holes, basically in metal in the vent that I didn't know how to hide. And because I want, didn't want the metal to be exposed, so I basically covered it all with carpet. And it turned out re looking really nice and and slick. Maybe it can get a little dusty, but um, it's pretty nice. And <laughs> and this is my favorite thing in the van, the sunroof. <laughs> the sunroof is freaking awesome. It has a bug net. It has a night uh, blackout option. Opens into a few um, sides. And in really nice nights, you can see the stars through it. And when it's hot, I can put the vent on on a suction, open the sunroof, and I have a really nice air circulation. And then I have the trunk. So I just wanted to share about this. This is 10 liters of uh, diesel. And for my diesel heater, I mean, basically, I was able to run the, um, the diesel pipe through the electrical cable and down here the pipe sits in the box and the wheelbase box which I covered it with a, with a bunch of insulation because 
when it primes it makes a bunch of noise so a lot of people put it under the van but I really didn't want to mess around with it too much because I had no idea what I'm doing so I decided to put it in that box covered with a bunch of insulation and that works really really nice um, another thing is this is like my pretty much latest additions I put the bungee cords um, on both sides above the wheelbase because I wanted to use that space a little more and as you can see there, it's like, I use it a lot more now. <laughs> I can shove a lot of things so it doesn't fall into the van and I can have it still kind of open up. Do you guys recognize my bungee cords? <laughs> uh, we tried to match the bungee cords, also in the water system. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to talk real quick about the bed frame. As you can see, um, I made a bunch of holes here, like a, a shit ton of holes, actually. I picked that idea from our friend Jay. And basically, so the mattress itself can have a little more um, like a airflow, airflow um, for summer to cool down the mattress and for winter if you do open the door because you have to get something and it, the mattress got wet, it won't get too moldy and it can dry up a lot easier that way. So I definitely recommend on that. Box of things that I, like, I call it like the box of things you don't really need. Um, <laughs> But you do need, <laughs> and basically this is uh, my heavy duty drawer which I absolutely love and I, I fit so much things in here and I don't need to dig in and it was really important to me to have an access from the inside of the vent to the outside so I can reach into, basically I can reach into my food and things like that and I can put also longer things that go into the hallway. But basically, yeah, food, climbing gear, and the climbing gear, and camping gear. I also installed a hole. I recommend that to any van lifer. It's really awesome. It's a little tricky maybe to install, but I just love showing into a campground, pulling it out, putting the mat and camping chair. Just feel like like you're doing it right. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and I have another. 300 watts, two panels, uh, solar panels on the roof, just so you know, and 200 amp battery system, and one basically, which charge from the, also when the car is uh, running, and also from the solar panels. Yep. And that's it. Woo! And this is Buggy. <laughs> this is Buggy. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your van with us, Roy. <laughs> um, we will You're have welcome. more and more van tours coming, I'm sure, um, until you guys are sick of them. All right, guys, thanks for watching Maya's Misadventures. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Like and subscribe for more content in the future, and feel free to comment with any questions or future subjects, uh, van life subjects that you'd like to hear about. Thanks, see you next time. <laughs>